why does the Air Force need weather forecasters? That's a great question. So I guess in most people think of weather forecasters, they think, you know, when I drive my car today down the road, am I going to slip on the ice? Like right. that that's how you think of it in your yeah. everyday life. Do I need to grab a jacket on the way? Do outside? I need to grab right. a jacket? So in the Air Force, before any pilot takes off, they have to come to the weather desk and they have to get what's called a dash one. And so they, that's a weather briefing that they have to have before they take off. So that's their takeoff weather, their weather in route, and the weather that is forecasted for their landing. Okay. And so that... Like an itinerary almost. It's an itinerary yeah. of weather, yes. And so you have to prepare that dash one for every single pilot that takes off that day. And... Yeah. Which um, in civilian world, like before you take off, when yeah. you're at, on, the, like, on the runway... You have to have the latest weather, mm -hmm. and it's like sure a, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. like you yeah. have to like if you get in, if there's an accident, like my dad as a, just a private pilot, if there's an accident, uh, insurance will be like, no, we're not gonna help you out because what was the latest weather you got? And if you didn't write it down, like my latest weather was Charlie, right. you know, it's like well, it was Echo when you took off, so clearly you're lying or you didn't have the proper weather, and that's what happened. So, like, having the latest weather is very important, mm -hmm. even in the civilian world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For any pilot, the weather sure, is right. extremely important. And, you know, when you're dropping bombs, you kind of need to know which way the wind is blowing or other hazardous items. Sure. Makes um, sense. You got to know the weather, right? Okay. So, it doesn't sound very important, but it is, it's, a, it's an important part of what the Air Force does. Okay. At the time... I hated my job, and sure. I didn't think it was important at all. But now looking back on it, I'm like, okay, right, that right. was actually pretty important. I helped some helicopters get through some storms in the mountains of Italy. Like, that was pretty cool. Like, actually real-time navigating them through oh, that's cool. yeah. and around thunderstorms. That was pretty cool. Um, and then they did – there was a back room where they did the weather for the folks, like, in Iraq at that point. I never got to that room. Wait, wait, yeah. So hold on. What, what's the what's the year like? What's the time frame we're in when you're you're doing this over in Germany? Two thousand, two thousand four, five, and six. So okay, like man. the midst we of yeah. So I was about to say like war, as, in, I'm, war in Iraq. I'm we starting were, to pick yeah. up on this. So I was like, wait a minute. This was kind of like wartime. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we wow. had a lot of folks that trained like joint forces, they would do a lot of joint training in the mountains of Italy in preparation for going to Iraq, Afghanistan. Right. And so they would train and then they would go over. Right. And then Germany was kind of like the, the stopping point to okay. all the folks all right. going downrange. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. 